Hi, from Cecilia Costantino of Corso di Cucina per Cani.it. This video is extremely important, so watch it carefully till the end since I will talk about bone meal powder to be added to your meals prepared during the cooking course. I'm going to be talking about healthy herbs, which are fundamental because in this way your dog's food will also play a healing role for um, its body. So it's essential adding healthy herbs to our dog's diet. Then I will obviously talk about seeds and in the end in a specific video about multivitamins that is to say which multivitamins to be added to your dog's diet since every homemade diet must be integrated with multivitamins so let's follow me watch the whole video until the end so you will know what to add to the recipes that you can find in the cooking course in the recipe section to make your dog's meal truly healthy let's find it out together Let's find out now together which seeds can be added to the recipes that you will find in the recipe section of the video course. Chia seeds, a concentrate of nourishment and energy, rich in vitamins and minerals. They rebalance the body, fight free radicals and contain many fatty acids, give strength and help losing weight. Flax seed. They give shining and strong hair and are useful also against constipation and cystitis. They have emollient properties and a high content of minerals, many fatty acids, omega-3 and 6, and they fight internal and external inflammations. Mucilages have a soothing effect. Sesame seeds. They're rich in minerals, especially calcium. They're good for preventing osteoporosis. In fact, they strengthen bones and teeth. Zinc strengthens the immune system and selenium holds back free radicals. They prevent cardiocirculatory diseases. Sunflower seeds to be given shelled in order to avoid intestinal diseases. They are a great source of minerals, vitamins and monounsaturated fats. Vitamin E contained in sunflower seeds will improve your dog's skin. They help releasing stress and relax. They reach in vitamin B8 and they help your dog feeling happier. Let's see now together which are the healthy herbs that you can add to the meals that you prepare for your dog in order to make them even healthier and more genuine. Let's see now together which the precious qualities of healthy herbs for dogs are. I will show you here the herbs I have, which I bought on purpose. Rose hip. Rose hip, one of the richest sources of vitamin C, it supports the immune system and it is used also as a support for joints. Goldenrod, a very useful herb to keep the urinary system under control, excellent for kidneys and bladder. Moreover, it keeps the skin healthy. The next herb is passion flower. Passion flower, it helps calming down nervous or anxious dogs. You can add a teaspoon to the biscuit's dough and then you can give your dog one biscuit before going to sleep for a relaxed sleep. Here we have marigold. Marigold. Commonly used as an antibacterial unguent and anti inflammatory, and it can help to support and detox all the body organs, especially skin. The next healthy herb is green anise. Green anise is excellent for your dog's digestion. We can say that your doggy will have a happy stomach. Chicory. Chicory root. It is excellent for its effect as an intestinal probiotic and it's a good source of fibers and it's perfect for a healthy diet. Then we have bardock. Bardock helps supporting a good liver function thanks to its detoxifying effects. 
Moreover, it supports the good functioning of the organs. And finally, our famous chamomile. Chamomile. It's well known for its calming and soothing effects. It helps reducing anxiety and sleeping well at night. You can add one teaspoon to your biscuit's dough and give one biscuit to your dog before going to sleep. Did you know that bone meal powder strengthens bones, fortifies joints and teeth and it also contains calcium, phosphorus and vitamins? You will need to add it to your recipes. Now I will tell you the doses that usually are written on the back of any can of bone meal powder you buy. So I recommend you to add the bone meal powder to your recipes, especially if you have a puppy so from 0 to 2 years old, since calcium is extremely important. For dogs over 5 kilos, add 5 grams to your dog's food. For dogs over 10 kilos, you will be adding 10 grams. For dogs over 20 kilos, add 20 grams. For dogs over 35 kilos, add 30 grams to its daily food. So my recommendation is if you have a smaller dog like mine, Ellie, which weighs 2 kilos, you should obviously have the minimum dose, which is 5 grams and give 2.5 grams. In the PDF below the video, you will find all the necessary information about healthy herbs I told you about, seeds, bone meal powder. So please do not forget to read this PDF in order to choose properly and carefully which the most suitable herbs for your dog are. So for example, if your dog has intestinal problems or uh, let's say joint problems or it needs calcium, so make a careful choice according to your dog's needs. There's no doubt many of these herbs can be added in any case to your dog's recipes, even if there are no specific problems since they will be healthy for specific body organs. So have a look at a PDF before preparing your recipes.